I want to talk to you about this fuzzball today and why you should buy this mic. Let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome back to another one of my videos guys. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Jake King and I make videos for you, the creator. Now these videos can include tips, tricks, tutorials, reviews, unboxings, motivational videos, and just in general good things that are going to help propel you along your journey. Now my goal is to help you be as successful as you can be and if that's the content you're into, consider subscribing below. So we're going to talk about this wonderful little fuzzball of a microphone, why I love it, why you should get it and what it's gonna do for you now if you haven't seen this video here check it out this is where I unbox it and tell you what comes in the box of course that's what an unboxing is even further if you jump back to this video you can hear what my old microphone sounded like before picking up this one just the overall difference that this microphone makes so why do I like this microphone well that takes a little bit of a history and story if you watch that old video I was using an audio technica stereo mic microphone at that point in time that came out of my music studio actually it kind of worked on the camera but it was really built for acoustics and, and picking up like a guitar or something like that now it was much better than the onboard camera microphone but it wasn't perfect and one day I finally just really got fed up I called my wife up and I was like hey on your way home stop at the store pick up this microphone because I can't take it anymore Mike came home I was super eager about it decided to just immediately make that unboxing video I didn't even think about using Using the, the microphone in the video there's actually a comment and it was kind of one of those like oh man what was I doing moments and uh, yeah so still not using the microphone in this video yet but I am gonna kick it on currently I am using a, another microphone it's actually listed below if you want to find out what it is in the description of the video but as far as this microphone goes this was a game changer and personally I think if you are looking for a one-stop shop mic something that you could use for everything this would be a go-to mic and it's very inexpensive. It comes with everything you need and there's no reason to really purchase anything else unless you're going to kind of extend your use on this microphone. So what do I mean by that? This microphone is built, perfectly built for the run and gun vlog style mic. And you want to keep this microphone as close because there's no additional gain. And if you're like me and you have a camera with a very bad preamp, you're gonna get a lot of feedback noise if you have to kick it up real loud. Uh, and, and this kind of shot, I got a lot of reverb, a lot of echo. And it's not the mic's fault, actually. This mic is so good, there, there's really nothing to fault about it because it does exactly what it's supposed to do. So how can you fix that? What can you do? Well, if you wanna stick with a microphone and you don't wanna change like I did, you would wanna get a recording device of some sort and you would want to get the microphone closer to you as well. That's going to get rid of that reverb and it's gonna pick up you know, just better sound quality in general. My microphone currently is sitting right here, just barely above my head, and you want to have your microphone as close. So if you were to see where my camera setup is currently, it's quite far away and it just wouldn't work out over there. So how can you take this from run and gun to a perfect headshot, talking head video like what I'm doing here. Let's actually get into the mic and break it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this dead cat off, which happens to be one of my favorite features. The dead cat actually secures onto the microphone if you push it far enough on and it's very difficult to get off actually. So now that I've got the dead cat off, I've also taken the Rycote mount off and here is just the microphone itself. Now if you look at it, it's just a perfect little shotgun mic and you could use this in any way that you can imagine. If you're willing to purchase some other things and kind of build your studio around, this mic. I've also removed the 3.5 millimeter cord, which is extendable, but not very far. So how can you turn this into a much better microphone? How can you turn this into a video style microphone? I'm actually going to go ahead and switch over to this mic right now on my boom stand and we're gonna see what kind of quality audio we get for a starter mic like this so I have plugged in this other microphone and I'm holding it here pretty close to my face hopefully you're getting a good sound quality because as of right now I can't hear it and I don't know what's coming through I wouldn't be surprised if it is though a great audio quality this is typically about the distance maybe a bit further from from here 
is where you're going to have your kind of vlogging audio quality. I have no foam on it, I have no dead cat on it. This is just straight what it would sound like. Now, if this was sitting exactly where my other microphone was, which is right here, this is gonna be the audio quality you're gonna get once you put this on a boom. If you want a talking head mic and you wanna use this one, this is what it's gonna sound like. So let's go ahead and touch on some of the quality of this microphone and what I really love about it. The, the build itself is just absolutely amazing. It's very light, it's very durable. I think I've dropped this maybe a few times. There's a couple scratches on it but it's not gone through any issues whatsoever and it still works wonderfully. Rode does a wonderful job with their dead cats. More microphones did exactly what this did and had this little rubber seal on it because it, it's just perfect. It, it doesn't go anywhere and it I just I love that. I love that fact because if I were to drop it or if someone were to try to grab my camera or etc I don't have to worry about this falling off when I'm out and about. On top of that the way that this works compared to other dead cats at least in my experience is is perfect. It does exactly what it needs to do in the best way possible. The 3.5 cord I like that it is a little bit more coiled than others that I've run into and I also like that it is again a very durable cord because if you know 3.5 millimeter cords if you know headphones if you know anything about them they typically break down and I've never had an issue with this one packing it unpacking it cramming it into small places worrying about it bending etc I don't have that issue so I really enjoy the way that they have built this cord and I haven't had to replace it but it's also nice that it is removable just in case I wanted to replace it and then last but not least let's talk about the Ryko mount I think this is something very important to mention as well because I normally get a lot of feedback when I'm running and gunning and doing different things when I had my other microphone and getting to this kind of mount having this rubber interior for the vibrations plus it was able to move around quite a bit it took away all of that that extra noise which was awesome so all in all if you're going to use it as a run and gun vlog style I think it's the perfect microphone and even further with a few extra purchases such as a boom pole an extended 3.5 millimeter cord and a way to attach the microphone to the boom I think you're gonna have just an all-around perfect mic for its price too to get started with a good microphone, it changes everything. And remember, audio quality is incredibly important. I myself have been driven nuts by audio quality and figuring out audio with my video. I don't know why it's so different for me than it was when I was doing music. Maybe because the microphones we were using, we were right there. I didn't have to do too much in post to really fix the audio. Now I feel like I've had to do a lot in post. As I upgraded my microphones though, and I changed my setup dependent on how I'm shooting, I've noticed that I don't have to do too much in post and it just gives me a better audio quality. If you're like me as well, audio is very important when it comes to the video. I've spent more time figuring out my audio than I have my lighting, which there are some things I'd like to do in up and coming, hopefully you'll see them. Audio is important if you need a good starting microphone, if you need something inexpensive and that is gonna be versatile for you, I think the Rode Video Micro Go is a great way to go. Now, this video is not sponsored by any means. I just really love this mic. I paid for this microphone myself. Actually, I didn't pay for it. I made my wife pay for it when she was out and about, but same money, so uh, did I pay for it? Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. And let me know in the comments below as well what you think about this microphone and if this is something that you could see yourself using or if this is something that would also up your video game. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this review was helpful in some way, shape, or form. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining me. If you did like this video and if you did find it helpful, subscribe below. If you could, hit that like button because it helps more than you know. And last but not least, guys, hit the bell. Stay notified, up to date. I'm releasing a video every day this month. My schedule will change, so you're going to want to be notified. On top of that, I've got some cool collabs and some series coming up, so you'll want to be notified for those as well. And with that, guys, until next time, I'll see you in the next video.